Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the differences between starch and glycogen. Starch and glycogen both are storage polysaccharide. But there are some differences between these two. So in this video, we will discuss about the differences between starch and glycogen. So let's start. The first of all, the starch is the storage polysaccharide of plants. So it is the storage polysaccharide of plant whereas the glycogen is the storage polysaccharide of animal. Starch contain two types of glucose polymers that is amylose and amylopectin. Whereas the glycogen contain one type of polymer that is amylopectin like glucose polymer. Starch is less extensively branched than the glycogen. And glycogen is more extensive blanched than the starch. Even the starch is less compact than the glycogen. And glycogen is more compact than the starch. So starch is less extensively blanched and less compact than the glycogen. And the glycogen is more extensively blanched and more compact than starch. How you can remember this? One thing that here starch is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 word. Whereas glycogen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 8 word. So it is less word that is less extensively branched and less compact. And glycogen has more word. So it is more extensively branched and more compact than starch. Next is that. Amylose and amylopectin molecules of starch form respectively the blue and violet complexes with the iodine. Whereas it gives red violet color with iodine. That is glycogen gives red violet color with the iodine. The amylose of the starch has reducing property. Whereas the amylopectin molecules of the starch has no reducing property. So the starch, as we discussed that starch has two types of glucose polymers, amylose and amylopectin. And between these two polymer, uh, glucose polymers, amylose has reducing property. Whereas the amylopectin has no reducing property. We also discussed that glycogen contain one type of amylopectin like glucose polymer. So, this amylopectin has no reducing property. As a result, glycogen has no reducing property. These are all about the differences between starch and glycogen. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get more videos. Thank you.